Well, um, you know, like what the Super Eagles of Nigeria are facing right away, you know, for the national team, the goalkeeper department has been a big blow for Super Eagles in the last few games they played, which was uh, the friendly against uh, Saudi Arabia and Mozambique. And Francis Zoho, who claimed the shirt to be number one, after Samuel Okoye, you know, he's been uh, maybe out of the team for some while. And then um, we have uh, Adeleke, the other, Adele, yeah, the other player, uh, goalkeeper, who was not given visa, you know, to arrive in Portugal. So on my own um, point of view, for the coach, and then um, for the betterment of Nigeria, we have this uh, problem of um, the goalkeeper department in the last few years now. So I think uh, Samokoye was there, but due to he was not performing. And then you can see that uh, his club side is not the first choice. Likewise, Zoho have been doing pretty good for some time in Cyprus. But all of a sudden, there are some problems with uh, the Super Eagles goalkeeper department. So now, there's, there's this young goalkeeper who, who kept for Nigeria under 20 in Argentina. You know, the last edition of under 20 World Cup, we have Chijoke and, and Igoso, you know. So the guy, I think he penned to paper in Ukraine, second division. So I think those goalkeepers, we need to check on those uh, goalkeepers. The coach, Jose Pacero, have to look onto those goalkeepers who played for Nigeria 20. We're talking about Chijoke and Igoso, you know. So I think that boy, with what he did in Argentina, he looks more matured, he looks more composed, you know, for the Super Eagles of Nigeria. So I think we should just um, uh, look on his own direction. And then not to forget about Ojo, we have, um, we have this, uh, some home-based goalkeepers. Maybe the league is on now, then the coach have to move around the country, try to check on the players, the goalkeepers department, because that is a major problem we have. So if any of them is coming in now, we have the qualifier against Lesetho in November. So if anybody is coming in for the Super Eagles of Nigeria, the goalkeepers, it's just this moment. So they have to watch the league and see the kind of players we are going to use for the play, the goalkeeper department. We need it for the AFCON and for the future. So I hope Jose Pesero and his crew and the people in charge of the goalkeeper can be able to go around the country because we must have safe hands you know, in the department because that's the major uh, upset. That's the major thing we are facing because if you watch when Nigeria played friendly match against Saudi Arabia in the last uh, some weeks now, you know, and then Francis Zoho is nowhere to be found. And then I was thinking Jose Pesero could have introduced another, maybe try other goalkeepers instead of playing Zoho whom he fumbled in those games and the coach uh, continued to protect him and said, okay, he's the first choice, uh, he's one of the best goalkeepers, he will do this. We don't need something that can give Nigerians uh, maybe heart attack in the Nations Cup, the fans, lovers of football. We have to look for the safe hand, someone who can be there for the Super Eagles. I think that's what we need. Then, uh, moreover, we're still going to give names. So if the technical crew... If nobody is there to look for the players, the goalkeepers department, we have to give them names in the Nigerian local league or some goalkeepers around Europe, whom I think they have to try in the Super Eagles. Um, what I want to contribute, like for the national team goalkeepers, you know, we could have some names, which for me personally, I think, I watched this guy played uh, for Sporting Lisbon, you know, Sporting Lagos, sorry. Sporting Lagos, that is, so we're talking about uh, Christian Umoke. You know, this is a goalkeeper in the Nigerian League with Sporting Lagos. So I watch him in the Super 8 in Nigeria. So I think this guy is, um, you know, he's 22 years of age, you know, and then he has played for FC Rocket in the Nigerian League before moving to Sporting Lagos. So he's got the height. He's high, he's tall, you know, and then I think he should be a good servant. So just Pesero, the coaches, the staff, the goalkeeper staff, they should just watch him, watch him in the league. You know, what? thank God that we have Nigerian League on. I think they should just check on Christian Mwoke, you know, of Sporting Lagos. This is a goalkeeper, you know, with huge talent. He saves penalty during the course of the game. So we should give him a trial in the national team.
he should come into the national team of Nigeria. As far as I'm concerned, right now we have the problem of goalkeeper. And then, you know, this guy has been in the national team. We have Olor Leke Ojo. Though he's 28 years of age, he has been in the Super Eagles. So I think those are the goalkeepers we should give, you know, playing time. So the coaches should give uh, Olor Leke Ojo, I think, the opportunity. And then also we have Chijo K. Kingsley. So I think uh, I was trying. He signed for FC Police, I think, after the walk up in under 20 that is the last world cup being played in argentina you know so he kept very well and it was so that he was it's called chijoke and and it was so kinsley i think he's good as well so they should look check his profile check where whether maybe now i don't know if he's making the team but this is a future goalkeeper you know people who can rely on for super egos he's got a good height and you know something like that and not to forget about uh, this guy who played for Hope Jerusalem. He's uh, 23 years of age. Adebayo Adele. He has been in the Super Eagles camp. I think those are the players for me. I think the Super Eagles staff, coaches should look on for a goalkeeper problem. So that's what I can say. These three names, these four names Adebayo Adele. Chijo K. Kinsley. We have Christian Nwoke of Sporting Lagos. And then. Olor Leke Ojo of Enimba, you know. So the coaches should watch, and the coach and the goalkeepers, trainers should look at these players, and then, you know, so that we can solve the problem of Super Eagles, you know, before the Afcon, which is coming up in January. So it's a decision to make. It's something coaches you have to make the decision. If you look at Uzo, you know, in the last game he has not, uh, he's not competent enough. With error he commit at this international level, I think uh, it's something to talk about because we can continue to gamble, you know, when Super Eagles are playing and the goalkeeper concede cheap goals, you know, I think it's not, we don't accept that from a professional goalkeeper. If he plays in Cyprus, if he's regular or not regular, I mean, we need somebody who is competent, somebody who we can believe this is our safe hand because the players will not be doing it at field and then on the post you can't do nothing so we have to do we have to change we have to try some other goalkeeper the same thing applies to Marco Okoye he's uh he's 24 but you know he's signed for you Denise and he's not playing at the moment so for now we have tried him but I think we have to just uh, look elsewhere look at other goalkeepers and see their performance and know who will really be number one for Super Games of Nigeria so that's it remain your support Daniel Oh, formado.